Hello again, Roy Dot Real Estate here with Coldwell Banker Legacy in San Angelo. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Appraisal Review Board. So it's that time of year when you get your appraisal information from the County Appraisal District. And realize when you get this, you get you know, they send them out in May or June and this is the beginning of the protest period. So when you get that, what the issue with is that is the appraised value of your home or whatever property you have. So the way it works is the Appraisal District values the home, do a, a, some sort of mass appraisal on it and gives you a value of the home. Then there's multiple taxing entities, you know, school districts, counties, cities, water districts, road districts, hospital districts, all those different entities then will have a tax and based on their tax rate that they set separately, then that will determine what the, your taxes will be. So what you're protesting at this point, the appraisal review board is just a valuation of the property. And these appraisal districts are held to a standard by the state where they've got to be within 5% of the, the accurate value of the, of the property that they're, they're appraising. And that's throwing out ag value, which is a totally different issue. But anyway, so that's what you're doing. So the appraisal district or the appraisal review board is the first of formal official step of the, uh, uh, the protest process. So if you get your, you, you know, you have a house that you think is worth, say, just $200,000 and you get a valuation from the appraisal district that says they've got it appraised at 250,000 and they're gonna tax you on that basis. So you have the right to protest that. So there's an informal first step, which is usually calling the appraisal district and saying, hey, I think you got this wrong. And a lot of times you can talk to one of the appraisers and uh, frequently they can actually help you, you know, a fair amount with, with getting that fixed. But if they're unable to or unwilling to, then the first formal step is the the uh, appraisal review board. So you fill out, when you get your evaluation, there's a form used on the back of it or you can get it online to fill out to send back to them saying, I want to protest the valuation you have on my house. And so then over the period of the next month or two, they will have hearings of the appraisal review board. You can show up, you can present evidence, you can send them the evidence ahead of time. You can do it by phone. There's lots of different methods to do it. But that appraisal review board is a group of private citizens that are appointed to this board by various entities, and they're there to hear your protests. So you come in and you got to realize what you got, what you should do and shouldn't do. So basically, remember, you're, the valuation of the property is the thing you're protesting. You think you've got my house at 250 and it's really worth 200. That's what you're coming in there. So you're going to have any information you can have. You're going to have other listings around you if if there are any what they've sold for if you know that information a lot of times you don't and then the in, internal things because when they do a mass appraisal they don't come in the house and look around they don't know how your house is equipped they don't know that the house down the street that's listed at 250 has granite countertops and yours was built in the 80s and has formica still so they don't know any of those things. So the condition, the internal you know, improvements to your property, the condition of your property, if it's, you know, there's a roof issue, it's not livable, whatever, different things, all those are, are points to help in, in determining the value of the property. So you bring any information you have in front of that appraisal review board. Again, they don't work for the appraisal district. They are appointed to help settle disputes at this first step. So you present to them the information you have and and typically the uh, appraiser for the appraisal district will be there as well and a lot of times they can figure out how to make adjustments and i was on the one in concho county last year and so i got a little more first-hand experience with it and i know that in most cases when we looked at it if, if we really thought there was a discrepancy that the appraiser could make some adjustments in their numbers to help get to what seemed to be a more valid value of the house so, it, I mean, it's a complex process. There's lots of different things they're looking at, but again, most of the time, all they can do at most is a drive-by and look at the property. So, but they're, they're willing to try to make adjustments to get it to an appropriate value. In fact, they, they are forced to. And so it, that's really kind of what you're doing in that process as well, is figuring out what makes sense, what are the different things because the, the appraisal review board has the authority to say, okay, well, your house is worth 200000 But if they say that and it's a vote of the appraisal review board, then that only sticks for a couple of years. And then it can jump back up to what seems to be an approved value. But if the appraiser can make adjustments in the way they valued the property with some of the different checkboxes in their software, then 
yes, that value is only fixed for one year, but because they've made the adjustments in okay, because of condition or because of upgrades or something like that, then those things will stick and it'll likely have more, more ability to carry forward and affect future valuation. So anyway, you're not try not to be emotional when you come in here. Try not to say, well, my taxes are too high. Well, yes, they are. Your taxes are too high, so are mine. So the, the issue here, just realizing that that only issue you're really worried about is the appraised value of the property. You gotta make sure you're getting any deductions or exemptions you should be getting. But again, the ultimate thing you're looking at is the appraised value of the property. That what you could probably sell that in an open market, an arm's length transaction at that date and time. They're done based on January 1. So the ones that are coming out now, you're trying to figure out what the value of that property was on January 1, 2021. So I know it's frustrating. It's frustrating because taxes, it gets in your pocket. And, and that's what you got to realize going into the appraisal review board. Again, these people, they didn't set the tax rates. Those were set by multiple different taxing entities. They are only there to, to possibly make adjustments to the valuation of your house, but it's a value times the tax rate that results in your taxes. So it, it does directly affect your taxes. They know that it's just a matter of you working through the system. Again, I said the appraisal review board is the first step in the system. You can actually have several other steps in the appeal process if you think it's off, but those get more expensive. You At some point, you're going to have to get consultants, attorneys possibly involved. You go to the district court. I mean, there's several steps you can do past that, but nearly all of them can be settled either with the appraiser before an appraisal review board hearing or at an appraisal review board hearing. So. Any more questions, appraisal review board, anything with your property taxes? I've got some other videos on that if you want to go back and look at them, kind of different parts of the process. So give me a call, Roy Dot Real Estate, 325-268-0775. Thank you.